we have this candlelight vigil here this evening, organized by our regional chapter of TYC Dharamsala and also regional chapter of Tibetan Women's Association Dharamsala. The reason why we are gathered here today is because of continuing self immolations inside Tibet by our brothers and sisters for our country and for our people. Yesterday, Wang Chin Nobu self immolated around 8, 8 o'clock yesterday evening, and this morning, around 8 30 this morning, Tsering Tunduk, he self immolated by Tibetans inside Tibet. If we look at all the self immolations, to protest against continuing occupation and oppression of the Tibetan people by the illegal communist Chinese regime. If we look at all these self immolations, it is very clear that the situation inside Tibet is like hell on earth. The message that the self immolators, what they have conveyed to the rest of the world is that situation under Chinese occupation is unacceptable. That the Tibetan people inside Tibet want their leader, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, to return to Tibet. They want independence for Tibet. That is the cry of the Tibetan people, of the self-immolators. When they are on fire, when they are in flames, that is the slogan that's being raised inside Tibet by our brothers and sisters. There are nomads, there are farmers, there are writers, you name it. People from all walks of life, all over Tibet. And the youngest being 15 years old. And most, almost all of these self immolators were born under Chinese occupation. They have not seen an independent Tibet, and they have not felt an independent Tibet. Yet, they fight for our country. Yet, they fight for our people because they have the Tibetan blood inside them. What they're saying is they are not Chinese. What they're saying is that they are Tibetans. What they're saying is they are Tibetans and our leader is His Holiness the Dalai Lama and that's why they are demanding His Holiness the Dalai Lama to return to Tibet. That is the message from inside Tibet. And instead, instead of addressing instead of addressing the real situation inside Tibet to find out the underlying causes of this self-immolations what China has done is called these self-immolators terrorists insane having family issues that is absolutely incorrect we strongly condemn what China calls our martyrs and at the same time at the same time what China calls Instead of addressing the real issues inside Tibet, the problems inside Tibet, China calls, China says that His Holiness the Dalai Lama is responsible for his self immolations. That is absolutely untrue. We categorically reject these baseless allegations by the Chinese government. These are completely irresponsible remarks. Also, standing here, Standing here, I want to appeal to the international community, to the world leaders, including the United Nations. We know that we have received words of sympathy. We know that the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Ms. Navi Pillay, recently issued a statement on the situation inside Tibet. We also know that the State Department's spokesperson of the United States also issued statement regarding self-immolations inside Tibet. 63 years under Chinese occupation, we have had enough words of sympathy. What we want, what the Tibetan people want is concrete action from world leaders, from the United Nations. We have had enough words of sympathy. We're not, it's not cutting it. Also, I stand here today, and also I would like to repeat what our Sikyong said earlier that the blame and the solution the blame and the solution of the self-immolation lies with Beijing the Chinese government the illegal communist
Communist Chinese government in Tibet is responsible for all the self immolations. And we know that the Tibetan people inside, when they self immolate, that is the only option that they have. That is the only option that they have. In occupied Tibet, they cannot have candlelight vigils like what we have here today. They cannot go out on the street and protest. If they do so, they could be arrested, they could be tortured, and they could be shot point blank. That is the real situation inside Tibet. And that is why we have all these self-immolations inside Tibet to protest against the Chinese government. And I repeat, the blame and solution. The blame and the solution lies with Beijing. The Chinese Communist Party recently concluded their 18th National Congress. <coughs> and we know that not too long ago, the United States re-elected President Obama for a second, second term. It is elected by the people. But if we look at what happened in Beijing just several days ago, at the 18th National Congress, the leaders are not elected, they are appointed. That is the difference. And I stand here today, I stand here today and demand Xi Jinping and the rest of the six Politburo members of the Chinese Communist Party, once they have full control of the leadership position, the first thing that they need to do is resolve the issue of Tibet. They cannot continue to escape. They cannot continue to avoid. The Tibetan people will not allow that. We will continue to internationalize the issue. We will continue to pressure the Chinese government. And we know, we the Tibetan people know, that we will prevail at the end. That is what we know. And we know that the slogans of the self-immolators Return of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Tibet and freedom in Tibet, independence in Tibet, we know that we will be able to fulfill those aspirations. And we will do so. We will definitely return His Holiness the Dalai Lama in an independent Tibet.